defend yourselves at all time. God bless. Touch gloves. Touch them. The vacant international market. What a build-up. What a reception. It was like a world title fight. It was like the old days, Paul Smith. The big question is, can Scott Harrison roll back the clock? What a physique. Look at the shape he's in. You know, that, was, that was the doubt about everyone, whether he could, whether he could rekindle the shape that he, he used to get in because he was so fit. Look, the, the body on him, he looks in amazing shape. Saw a tweet earlier on tonight from Alex Arthur saying, yep. get ready, folks, to see the kind of condition that Scott Harrison is in. Yeah, he looks in great condition, and, and he always was. And if he's the way he was when he was in his heyday, you know, you know weighed in yesterday nice and light, he'd be able to stone heavier tonight, but pure a stone from the outside in. And the size of the, the biceps as well, his, his muscle all over his arms. I mean, there's no doubt about it. He was he was killing himself years ago at Super Feather. He was a very, very strong fighter at that weight. Yeah, he was. I don't agree with, with, with the title that's on the line. You know, there's no need for these titles. It's just people will come and see him and TV will want to watch him in, in a 10-round international contest. It doesn't really matter about the, you know an international Masters title from a WBO world title to, to fight for this. It's, he just wants to get in there and, and fight in a 10-round fight against anyone in the world. That's, who, that's his attitude and, and put a performance in. Yeah, you might have to temper enthusiasm from this big crowd here tonight. And although Georgi Nizier, he, he looks sort of slight, his, his record reads pale next to Scott Harrison's by a long, long way, but he's quite a neat little fighter and an unbeaten one, and he's got youth on his side too. Just the brute strength that Alisson always had, which he, he, he's evidently still got here in this round anyway. You said it with Steve Buns, um, he can't be too over-eager here. It's, it's, there's a lot of pent-up ag aggression desire. Yeah, he, he can't be too over-eager, but he, he's going to be, and it's understandable, you know, it's a long time off the ring, and he's going to want to impress, he's going to want to get his foot back in the door and, and get back to his old ways, which, again, you know, it's totally understandable. Marching down, Nizia cutting down the ring as well. Scott Harrison, fast combinations. That's one of the things people were worrying about um, tonight, or wondering about, given he was never a sort of flashy fighter in his prime. I can't get up the size. The back, he's got a back like a bodybuilder. The, the lats on him is unbelievable. He's got two wings on his back. He's huge. And hopefully, our picture is bringing you a. A slice of the condition that Harrison is in. Now, 34 years of age, it should be stressed. The time is not on his side. And, and who knows, you, you, you'll you have spent sort of six to eight months, a, a year out the ring. I mean, get five, six, seven. I, I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how he's back. A, I don't know how he's in that shape he's in, because he's, he's in tremendous shape. And, and B, I don't know how he's, he's just, you know, he hasn't lost everything over seven years. Third on the feet, Harrison with a big left hook there, trying to make an impression on this slight Hungarian from Budapest at the end of the first. Busy round from Harrison, menacing stare at the end of it. He's back in business. That, 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 that's the first bit of relief over. He'll, he'll feel a happy man sitting in that corner now. You know, he, he knows he's back, he's in, he's in the corner, he's receiving advice from, the, from his trainer. And he's back, that, that's it now, the first round's out the way, the rest of it should hopefully start settling down now, falling into place for him. His trainer, of course, Father Peter, is been with him all those hill runs in the Highlands that he used to do years back, title defence after title defence, he used to pack him in at the Brayhead, and he only had to get a, a, a sample of the atmosphere, Paul, to despite all the, the crimes, the misdemeanors, the faults and the failings, and they are many, let's be honest about it, they are many, but he's got a following up here and he's done a pack for Scottish boxing over the last year. The people that are here are not here because he's been locked up, because he's been in jail, they're here because he was a world champion, he's one of their own and he's a fighter, and he's an exciting fighter, and people pay money to see that, and I, I do myself, and I remember watching him years ago when I, when I was a bit younger, when I was just starting out, and he was exciting to watch, he was one of the most exciting fighters we had. He's in an exciting division too, lest we forget, but more on that a little later on. Well, amazing to think that Mizier was only two and Harrison was making his debut. Here he is unbeaten in seven so far, and he's emerging from, well, effectively the, the Hungarian 
at prize fights at the Super 4 tournament, which he came out and, and won. So he's a, a guy who's on the up himself. It's frightening the difference in, in, in the bodies of the two and, and the physiques. And you know, he, he looks like a boy, Mizzy, doesn't he? He does, he does. And you sense a good idea to get Harrison straight into a, a 10 rounder. He was always a strong, strong fighter. You sense that as the fight progresses, that'll suit him. Yeah, of course, and, and that's the level he's at. You know, he, he, he is, he is a, that's a lovely oh, shot. Oh, crack it, crack it. And this year did well not to go down. He takes a knee. Three. And Harrison Four. shrugged away Five. by referee uh, Victor Lockwood. That was a serious body shot. The nice shot, the inexperience from Mizziev looking to the referee for help. You know, you defend yourself at all times and you try and fight through it. The Zion look at his face as he glanced across to his corner. Harrison straight back down to the body, swinging away and trying to make an impression in the second. Plenty of time to go. There's a minute and a half, another body shot. And another. Oh, he's down for the second time. I was going to say in that last round, it's, it's, it's scary how low his short time is. He having to pull him up to be low his belly button. That left hook to the body is the one, and Harrison has got the bit between his teeth and his man on the ropes, literally. He just can't get away from those left hooks. Another two, dig in on the ribcage on the belt line. Is it a matter of time? Another left hook. Miziev doesn't look like he's got the power to deter Harrison as well from just plodding forward and catching him with these, these excruciating body shots. It's a matter of time. Surely it's a matter of time. He's struggling to get through this, the youngster. Again, that left is the honey punch. And just I'd like look to at see, the stare I'd, in I'd Harrison's like to see eyes. the referee just stop and pull his shorts up. You know, it, it, the, the, the belt line, the same below the belt, is because you're not allowed to... He's hitting him on his hip and it's shorter that low. It's counting as a body shot. Well, his trunks are way down below that protector. Harrison trying to entice him with a shot upstairs. He's managed somehow to survive inside the final 20 now. Oh, oh another yeah. cracker. He's down for the third time. I wonder how much longer Victor Lockland's going to let him carry on here. He shrugs his hands, gloves up. I mean, he can carry on. Yeah. It's the end of the round as well. If he sees it out, you know, there's two seconds to go. Oh, what a breakthrough from Scott Harrison. Respite from Georgi Mizier, but I suspect it'll be brief. The corner haven't even bothered going near the shorts, you know, the, the, the down low anyway, but the, the swain below is protecting now as well. I'll tell you what, Paul, it, he needs armoured plating round there to keep Harrison off. Lovely, lovely clean body shots as well, what landed, the one that did, did, did the damage to drop him. Naughty little bit of afters while he's on the floor, you know, which you have to be careful of. But Just enthusiasm powerful. getting the better of Harrison. He's Watch looking off. so strong. Yeah. That, I mean, yeah, Mizier's probably not anything to, to judge on where Harrison's at Don't right you. now, but you've got to be impressed by the way he looks and the way he's gone about the job so far. Listen, he, he's the right opponent okay. to have in after the seven-year layoff. Let, let's, let's make no bones about that. He's the right opponent to be there if we... If we put him straight in a British title for a British title fight, then people will be people will be criticising the opponents. Into the third, Nizier down three times in that second from body shots, almost all of them. And that meaty left hook and Harrison with that wide-eyed stare is on top of his man again. On Scott, let's go. Is the shout from the crowd? He, he's not stopped so far, young man. He's just looking to finish with that left hook to the body again all the time. He's touching the head again. Good, powerful shots to the head, but then coming down with that big left hook to the body. Well, it's a stellar division domestically, isn't it? Of course, uh, Burns Mitchell coming up on Box Nation in the autumn. You've got Derry Matthews, the British champ, Gavin Reese, a champing at the bit there, Ant Crawler, John Murray, a few guys who, who's slightly slipped off only briefly. It is chock full of talent. Can you imagine Scott Harrison against John Murray? Do you know what? When <laughs> I was coming here tonight, uh, those were exactly the two names that were on my lips. <laughs> you'd, you'd put them in a phone box, wouldn't you? You'd stage I, the fight in a phone box in the middle of the ring and they wouldn't leave it. I tell you what, I, I'd give up my fee, I'd, I'd pay <laughs> my own 
Box Nation for, for the next 10 years to see that one. There's some there's some very exciting fights to be made in that division. It's a top division. It's it's bursting with talent and with Addison coming back and, and you know I can't see him getting getting another five pounds off the, off that body the way he looks today. And I, I didn't see him at the weigh-in, but even today he doesn't look like he's got five pounds to drop there. So there's no chance of super featherweight. So it looks like he's going to be staying at lightweight. Yeah, he looks he looks comfortable where he is physically. Anyway, and what is he going to do differently? He don't want to become a one-trick pony here. No, but with all respect to Scott Addison, what he did was the basics, but he did the basics very well. And, and a lot of great fighters in the past have been that way, you know, cost is you and everyone else. They, they, they mastered the basics, and Scott was all about clever pressure fighting and, and, and being super strong, so strong and super fit. I was going to say in the last round, any other fighter, then you'd be worried about him punching himself out. But he, he's got an engine on him like, like, like not many other people have got, Scott Addison. Inside the final minutes. Mizier has done well to survive this long, and Harrison has tried to vary things. I thought he might continue to look for that left hook. Yeah, but he's, listen, he, he's got bags and bags of experience. It doesn't matter how long he's been out the ring, he's still always got that in the bank, and he'll know when it comes down to it not to go too, you know, too predictable looking for the one big shot. He'll disguise it well, and that, that's why he was a world champion. That clubbing right hand, Mizier is looking in trouble now. I wonder if his corner might step forward. He's got that look as if to say, what on earth have they done to me here? He's still he surely a... knew what he was getting into. Yeah, he's still having a little pop back as well every now and then, big, big right hands and you know, trying to catch Allison, but I think Allison's got a granite chin as well. Stared him down again, Allison. I think he, if he could have grabbed him by the scruff of the neck and had him for another three minutes, he would have. Well... Just it has been high-octane stuff. Dramatic to return tonight from Scott Harrison, the world champion. He's only lost a couple of times. One of those was on cuts. One of those was the avenged defeat to Manuel at Medina. It's a, it's a stellar record. None of that really matters tonight, though. It's about how much he has left and, and the evidence of what we've seen so far. The answer would be plenty. So strong. I might just have to rewrite the record books, you know. He just plant, you know, he plants his feet, let, lets the shots go, and, and it doesn't look like a tank at budging when he's throwing his own shots. Big right hand there to kick things off from Harrison. He said in the build-up to this fight, if I win back a world title, it be his greater feat as anything achieved before in boxing well it is lazarus like at the moment although he's looking to punch this youngster uh, once again all that pressure looked to tell in the second but he had his man down three times but this year is on something of a recovery we're all, we're all talking about the other lightweights and, and looking at harrison starting low now and working his way up through the rankings can you imagine Scott Harrison against Ricky Baines in, you know, Freyhead or, or anywhere, you know, big arena up in, up in Scotland. And I know Ricky Baines has got to fight Kevin Mitchell and it'll take Scott Harrison a few more fights before he gets to that level. But just, just to get your juices flowing, can you imagine that fight, the atmosphere, the atmosphere in this place when he was just walking to the ring in a, in a fight against an unknown opponent? Can you imagine that Scottish showdown, the, 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 the crowd, the atmosphere, the, the night? Be, be unbelievable. And he's packed them in tonight. Ricky Bones has started to sell out the Brayhead. Harrison has his man down again in the fourth, and there's still a long, long way to go. Victor Lockland's waved it off. And Scott Harrison, after six and a half years out of the ring, makes a stunning return to action as well as to form. He punches the air, dances round the ring to every ring post and the gathering throng that saw Harrison Harry, as they used to shout in the Brayhead during those world title defences, has come back and entertained. How impressed Paul Smith with that? He impressed me more than, than I was expecting, you know, with all respect to him. I wasn't expecting him to come back and to just 
flow back into it easily. Seven years is a long time out the ring, and he came back and, you know, a little tiny bit rusty and looked like he'd never been away. And those shots about to um, uh, be taken by photographers, about six or seven uh, photographers rings.